Well, there is a reason they have been voted number one in sandwiches for the last five years in a row. Here now with a taste of the town, our owners of Baldarota's Porchetta and Sicilian Sausage, Jordan and Paris Baldarota. Welcome, friends. <laughs> it has been too long since you've joined us it here. It has been. It's been way too long. <laughs> but too long. a lot of fun things have been happening with the business since yes. our last visit. Yeah. Let's kind of go over what's new with you guys. All right. Okay, well, we had an opportunity to pick up a second location um, in Urbana. So it's going to be on Griggs Street uh, right next to 25 o'clock. So this is a second location. This isn't a we're moving out of Correct. this location. Yeah. Yeah, we'll still be in Lincoln yeah. Square for a while. Okay, yeah. so uh, how exciting yeah. to, you know, to branch out and have a bigger space, is oh, that yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. So what's gonna be different at this new location? So the new location, um, we're actually gonna be offering deli items on top of the sandwiches that we sell right now already. Yeah, like homemade sausages and like little porchetta roast you can roast at home, Italian beef, some other items as well, chicken cutlets. We yeah, came up with that one. Uh, our condiments that we make in house, like all of our delicious yeah. and salsa, we'll have a grab and go case where if you don't, you just need to grab a cold sandwich real quick and head out. You can do that as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, and we have to say thank you to so many people in the community because without them, oh, absolutely, this would not have even been possible. Talk a little bit about this yeah. process of making this a reality. Yeah, so we actually created a Kickstarter campaign. So that is a crowdfunding platform where you uh, create your campaign, your story, tell what you want to do, and then you get people to back you and uh, give you pledges, and we offer things back to them as well. Yeah, so it's not like you're just giving us money for nothing. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, we have like a lot of different tiers, and so they're basically like rewards. And did I see the recent one is you could possibly get a sandwich named after you? <laughs> well, you can name it. You oh, can name it yourself. Okay. Yeah. If you want to name it yeah, after you. Come in, you yeah. come in, work work with us, and then, uh, you know, put some ingredients together, have fun, and then you get to name it. We'll run it as a special. Nice. Well, we're yeah. going to put some ingredients together today right, because you guys are the number one favorite sandwich shop here voted by the fans. Yep. So what, what sandwiches are we going to be highlighting today? All right. So right now we're going to start with um, the Peppa Pig. Actually, all right, so this is a new one. So it's gonna be on ciabatta, and then we got a little bit of salsa verde we're gonna put on here. Yum. And this is not spicy, by the way. A lot of people think that it's gonna be spicy. This is this is not spicy at all. It just means green sauce in Italian. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, and it smells so fresh. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a good one. Oh my goodness. Out of your way. Sure. All right, next we're gonna put some hot jardinera. Now this is spicy. Okay. This is the spicy part. Yum. Do you come up with these all your own, Jordan? Yeah. These are all like Jordan originals? Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Get a lot of inspiration from other people as well, but then, you know, I like to play around and put yeah. smells. So this is prosciutto cotto right here. Prosciutto cotto just means cooked prosciutto. It's like the Italian version of ham. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. So we got that on there. And then now we're going to finish it with some sharp provolone. All right. Everybody knows what provolone is. This is um, like a, a harder... Uh, Harder provolone. It's got very strong flavor to it. Ooh, okay. Delish. And then we'll go. look at that. This your is on sandwiches ciabatta. are always so big. They're like yeah. Like you gotta open your jaw yeah. really wide <laughs> All right. now to for get the that. Reveal right there. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and the next, the next one, one is the Della. This is like one of my favorites right here. This is uh, another one we've been running as a special, um, and it does really well every time. Ooh, so, is that a pesto? Yes, this is a uh, uh, Trapani style pesto. Uh, Trapani is a, a city in Sicily that we actually have a lot of family in. Oh, nice. Yeah. So this is a uh, little bit different than your normal pesto. This has actually roasted tomatoes in it. Yeah. That's why it's a little bit darker. All right. So we got that on our focaccia. This is the herb focaccia, actually. It's got sun dried tomatoes in it and stuff, too. So it's really cool. Next, we have arugula. Green. Yep. So our arugula. And then a few. Roasted marinated tomatoes. These Which are, are great in season oh, right now. Yes. So these are marinated in white balsamic and a little bit of oregano and then some olive oil. All right, now we're going to put about four ounces of our pistachio mortadella. Do you make that? No, we did not make it. Okay. This. this is imported from uh, Bologna, Italy, though. Wow. All right, so we got that. Now we're going to put a spread of our stracciatella mozzarella. My gosh, this is so fancy. Yeah. <laughs> 
I this love really it. Good. And normally I would top it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, but we did not bring that. That's today. okay. That's we okay. can use our imagination. That's right. All right. So that's it. Let's cut into this bad boy. So this would be perfect this for This is a sexy sandwich right there. Oh! Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, you're going to stick around because yeah. we've got a few more things to check out. And we need to learn a little bit more about how people can um, participate and help um, just keep keep your uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep it going. going. Let's keep it going. And if you want to learn more about Balderota's Porchetta and Sicilian Sausage, we'll connect you with them over at CILiving.tv after today's show.